as we all know, data is driving the force, but we have to make sure that it's uh, it's uh, um, trustworthy. And in that sense, I think the Finnish trend is really on on the trustworthiness of, of the data availability for, uh, for um, um, medical development. I think it's a Finnish education system which ensures that basically people in Finland they kind of uh, reasonably well understand what can be the hazards of these kind of technological progress but uh, don't get too paranoid because they don't really understand anything about it. Of course the collaboration and, and, and kind of working together so we have a uh, kind of a globally evaluated scientific base for AI and that is of course important but I would like to add because AI is never in isolation so you, I mean it always needs data and, and uh, some other technologies around so I think that is one of our strengths that it's not only about the AI it's about the collaboration other technologies and the combination. And when we are talking about trust I think trust is much easier to build on a safe platform of knowledge and in this respect probably the very good uh, educational system in Finland is able to provide this trust not only for individual companies but probably to create some kind of societal trust. One key ingredient to success in, in this environment is the culture, the underlying culture of openness to innovation, collaboration and also the, the trust that is built around you know, with the education support. And I, I think this is a learning that we need to take to other environments. Finland is the willingness to embrace the new, um, the readiness to be dissatisfied with the status quo, um, and almost a collective movement that is created about improvement. And then policy uh, uh, entrepreneurs, be it small or big, can follow that through. But I think one of the most profound characteristics of the Finnish environment is um, the readiness of the people to collectively embrace change. Where I see Finland interest in location for uh, AI for Roche is really the fact that the ecosystem here, as we mentioned today, is really conducive to work on projects related to AI. I think we saw the startup uh, 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 foyer, we also saw all the education, the data scientists we have here, and the good legislation. Yeah. We in Finland, we are team players and we have long history of building public-private partnerships, which is important in innovations as, as they do not happen in isolation. So, so we need different competencies from, from different disciplines coming together. As mentioned earlier, Helsinki is big enough for making feasible experience, experiments, but also it's a very com com compact sized city, so it's it easy to try out new things here. To do meaningful uh, artificial intelligence. You need brilliant scientists and engineers, but you need also the users of the, the algorithm. In, in our case, healthcare professionals. And you, you need a setting to make them work together. Then that is the really, really one practical thing. Yeah. Never, ever, ever underestimate the need for data engineering. Exactly. <laughs> I was just coming with that because our first project we did this, this neonatal literacy thing and, and everything was ready. We got the, all the results from the database and then when we started to apply that in, in the real life, you know, we hit the wall with the data engineering and lost, lost one, one year almost like just building the plan. Yeah, absolutely right. What has helped us a lot is, is a collaboration with startups. There is a very impressive skill base here. There are many people who can contribute. And uh, this is exactly what, what is needed. Finland has a unique sort of a storage of uh, a national health data that is now made available through the secondary use of uh, health data legislation. So that can really be a great fuel for artificial intelligence solutions. Understanding data as an asset is just really uh, sometimes it's, it's uh, a little bit difficult, difficult. We as an airline, we think that uh, airplanes are our asset. Yes, uh, it, it is a huge asset, but, but also the data uh, is, is increasing and the value of data is increasing. So Having internal capabilities and data science expertise internally that are close to the domain experts. I think that way it would really allow fast iteration on experiments and pilots and 
and move forward with um, applications. In this data lake we have combined all the data on our clients, not only the healthcare data, but actually uh, gradually and increasingly also social care and these kind of uh, quantified self data. So everything is there, even the genome. I think if we want to achieve something, we need to have ambitious vision and, and ambitious objectives that everybody buys into. Helsinki Health University Hospital collaboration where we really try together to, to create a healthy city, not only like a healthcare is working, but, but the whole city is healthy, or, or promoting health. I think uh, Finland uh, turns out to be a very attractive test bed for that. I'm very inspired, uh, uh, having participated in this uh, roundtable, uh, because I got a great insight about uh, the attitude of uh, Finland and the Finnish society to bring different stakeholders together to really turn the opportunity of the digitalized world into a positive outcome for the well-being of the citizens. And this is clearly something where also Roche can make some contributions and we would be delighted to do so.